How did this universe come into being? How big is this universe? How did all the stars appear? Where is our Earth in this universe? These very questions, their range and depth have rattled us for long. Many thinkers who have thought beyond this world have asked these same questions and have tried to give answers for their times, for their civilization. Today, the modern world calls the process of creation as the Big Bang. In this modern scientific world, many labs such as the CERN Laboratory of Particle Physics in Geneva, Switzerland, and the Fermi National Laboratory in the United States have been conducting various experiments as to what really happened in the immediate moments after the Big Bang. The very concept of the Big Bang from the cosmic egg came into the scientific parlance because of the postulate put forth by the Belgian Roman Catholic priest, Abbe Georges Lemaitre, a mathematician and astrophysicist in the year 1927. His contemporary, Professor Albert Einstein, one of the greatest theorists of the modern world, had put forth his theory that this universe was formed as it is now and is static. He postulated and showed how, in this universe, energy and matter are interconvertible and the sum total of all energy and matter in the universe is always a constant. A couple of centuries earlier, the Dutch scientist Christian Huygens, in 1670 in his path-breaking book of those times, new conjectures concerning the planetary worlds, their inhabitants and their production, had made this very scientific and visionary statement for those times. What a wonderful and amazing scheme we have here of the vastness of the universe, so many suns and earths. This statement was very scientific and visionary for those times because it was the year 1664 CE and across the North Sea, Reverend James Usher, the Archbishop of Ireland, had just proclaimed that the world was created on 23rd October 4004 BCE at 9 a.m. in the morning.